The way I engaged the students in the interdisciplinary literacy practices was a couple different ways. The first ILP is that text is anything that communicates a message. This lesson really highlighted that because there was no text for them to read. You could use the video. You could also use this political cartoon. So they weren't reading paragraphs of text to find out what was going on between Britain and the colonies. It shows that they had a relationship because all of the colonies are trading with Britain. They were actually looking at a series of maps, videos, and a political cartoon, and then they had to make meaning of that. So they had to realize that just because we don't have anything to read, we are still getting messages from the primary and secondary sources that we are viewing. I want to know now what sources would best support this claim. Secondly, they were able to talk about and collaborate with each other to determine what information were we gaining from those sources and make meaning out of that. And it shows why they went through there because they got a lot of different types of resources that they could One of the big things for social studies is inquiry practices. And so for social studies lessons, we have a compelling question or an overarching question for our unit. And then we have supporting questions that change up every couple days or so. All of those supporting questions then throughout the unit go together and they are able to use that information that they've learned to answer the compelling question. I chose course of five and six because they gave me more information for my telling. So the ILPs are there. They are, they are there for reading and writing, but they really fit in all the disciplines. So I am now really focused on and more intentional about trying to incorporate those into every lesson. I think once teachers understand and realize that interdisciplinary literacy practices are there, they are able to make connections to them throughout their lessons and they're really able to explain those to the kids so that the kids know also what they are doing. I definitely think the students are more engaged because of the ILPs because they know and I have made such a big deal about how it is so important to talk to one another that we can gain ideas from other people. Once students hit third, fourth, and fifth grade, they're no longer learning to read, but they're reading to learn. The primary sources that we are analyzing are very complex because a lot of them are written in language that is from hundreds of years ago and is a little bit harder to understand. And so one of the ILPs is about making meaning out of complex text. And then with your reasoning, that's where you're really gonna use what we talked about in class today. They are making those discoveries on their own and that's really the essence of the inquiry process is for them to find the meaning on their own and that helps them to make those connections on their own which also helps them to remember those. Treating of the colony horribly by selling it for more money to become wealthy. I think what's really cool is that the interdisciplinary literacy practices are just that. They're interdisciplinary. So we've talked about how they can be used for any discipline, any content area. We have also talked about how they can be used for any grade level, so kindergarten all the way up through high school. And a lot of them are used multiple times throughout lessons and they really just interconnect to one another and help the kids make meaning of what they're learning. This is definitely not something that is added extra to our plates. Um, I know as teachers we have things that are handed to us a lot and we have to roll with it, but this is good practice. The ILPs are, it's just good teaching. So it's not anything extra to do, it's just being intentional about making sure that you are using them and incorporating them into lessons and it really helps your students to take the content and to learn it and to run with it. Thanks for working with me today. Thanks for working with me.